files. So the problem statement here is to understand the right mode in files. So according to those properties of files, we are going to implement the right mode. So the first one we need to know what is the syntax. The syntax here is we need to know the syntax. The syntax is first we need to create one file pointer. We need to create one file pointer. So for this file pointer, we need to allocate with the F open. We need to allocate the file to this file pointer by F open. So the first parameter will be the file name or path of the file where it is residing in your system path of the file and the next parameter for this is mode next parameter is mode to understand the different modes we can just change the mode for a specified file name or path of the file put a semicolon so this is how we need to perform the operation on the any given file after performing all these operations we need to close the file we need to close the file by f close f close of the pointer so this is how we can open the file and we can close the file now let us see a small example program related to write mode so in the write mode we know that in the write mode we know that if a file does not exist then whenever we execute this code a new file should be created now for this let me just write the code hash include stdo.h int main now first i'm going to create a file pointer so file followed by star ptr so this is a file pointer now ptr equal to f open of f open of let me give the file name as india dot txt let me give the file name as india dot txt comma w w is nothing but it's a write mode for write mode we are going to use w semicolon next return zero this is very simple program to open a file in the write mode so the properties here are if the file does not exist then a new file is created if the file is already exists then the contents will be overwritten so the first case we shall see with the file opened in the write mode so here there are no tabs you can observe over here there are no tabs with a file name called india.txt now as soon as i execute this code you are going to see the file name called india.txt now let me execute this code so the execution of this code will create a new file called india.txt see as soon as it is compiled and executed properly you are going to see the file name called india.tx so let me give one more file name for your understanding let me give the file name as sample sample.txt now as soon as i execute this code you are going to see one more file name called sample.txt so you are observing here right sample.txt so n number of times you run this code with the different different names then the different files are created at runtime now let me delete these files india.txt and uh, sample.txt i have deleted now after creating a file so we should also check with one important condition that if the given pointer is double equal to null the given the file pointer equal to null then this is the error message which we need to give to the user if ptr is double equal to null ptr the file pointer is double equal to null which means i am going to give a message to the user printf error in opening the file error in opening the file so this is the error message and immediately i need to terminate the program here itself exit of zero and the very important condition is for every open of the file you should also close the file with f close of the pointer name f close of the pointer name so let me execute the code and you are going to see a sample.txt file will be created sample.txt file has been created now let me just change few things 
here i am not allocating any file i am not allocating any file and if i am not allocating i don't want to close any of the file okay now just i am checking if the given file pointer is double equal to null then i am going to get the error message error in opening the file so this is the error message which i am expecting now i am just removing this delete dot t deleting i am deleting the sample dot txt now let me execute this code and check whether this uh, sample.txt is not been allocated to the file pointer then what is the message which i am going to get it so you're going to get an error message stating that error in opening the file because it has been allocated it has not been allocated with any file that is the reason we are getting this message error in opening the file and it is stopped so this is how we are going to check whether the file pointer is allocated to some of the file or not now let me execute with another test case if i am opening this file if i am opening this file in write mode if the file does not exist it is creating the file now let me try to write some content onto this file int or let me char name let me read one name within this file printf enter your name enter your name this name i am trying to write it on the file so first let me read the name gets of gets is used to read the name gets of name so after reading the name i want to print this name onto the file so how to print onto the file f printf f printf of the file pointer what is the file pointer ptr comma what is that i am going to print string percentile yes followed by what is the identifier name identifier name is name so after writing this just i am giving a message to the user name is successfully name is successfully printed on the file name is successfully printed on the file so this is a message which i am going to give it to the user now let me execute this code and let me show you the output how the sample.txt file will be created at runtime and the data whatever we are going to write here that will be stored on the sample.txt file i am writing the name here i am entering the name as arvind enter so as soon as i entered because of which i got this segmentation fault or code dumped so let me go to the file once again let me give some size of the name let me run the code once again so enter your name so i am entering the name as arvin and i'll enter name is successfully printed on the file name is successfully printed on the file so after this if printf statement i am writing this printf statement which means i got a clear message that my code has been successfully executed from top to bottom and i have got this message as name is successfully printed on the file now let me check in the given sample.txt file whether the name arvin is printed or not so you can see here name arvind is printed on the file so let me execute once again and show you the different test case that is whenever you open a file in the write mode write mode which is already exist when you open the file in the write mode when the file is already exist then the contents are overwritten which means the old data will be overwritten with newer data now you can see here sample.txt file is already exist and the name here is arvin now let me execute this code once again so once i click on run i am executing this code once again now here i'll be writing the name as hema sri i am writing the name as hema sri now let me enter this name is successfully printed on the file name is successfully printed on the file and see the sample.txt the name arvin is been overwritten with hema sri so whenever you open a file in the write mode if the file is already exists then it will overwrite the content this f printf is a statement which is used to print the contents onto the file the parameters for this will be the first one is the file pointer name and the next one is the format specifier and the next is the argument that is the name identifier what we need to substitute in the place of this percentile s yes. so this is how you can write the contents onto the file and if you open the file 
in the write mode if file does not exist then it will create a new file now let me just delete this file sample.txt let me run once again let me give another name for this some names.txt names.txt let me execute this code once again let me give one more name and check whether it is working fine or not virtue learn virtue learn is the name i have entered name is successfully printed on the file so you can see here virtue learn you got virtue learn or names.txt so this is how we can use write mode for writing the contents onto the file